Welcome back to the channel. This is Simon Cromer and today we are doing our Black Pearl detail package on this 2003 Monterey behind me. We did all the sanding, all the buffing, all the polishing. Today what we're going to be talking about is the full ceramic coating process. How to prep before you do the ceramic, how to apply the ceramic coating, and then we're going to talk tips for maintenance. Guys, let's get started. <laughs> So before we do the ceramic coating, we want to prep this, we want to wash down the boat. And what we're trying to do here is we're trying to strip all the oils out of the boat from when we were polishing. So we've got a magic eraser, we've got some dish soap solution right here. And this is actually the best way to really get into those pores and get all those oils out because we want to really kill down these oils. We want to have a nice water sheeting effect when we're done with this. So this is going to be the best way to do it. So you guys can see how this water is starting to slowly sheet off the boat. So this means that we're really killing anything in the pores. So this is a really good sign right here. This is what you want to see. You don't want to see any water beating like you're going to when you're done polishing. So this is the exact effect you're looking for. You can even see like, for example, right here, it's a little more beaded up. That means we come back and get this a little better. We want to see that nice sheeting effect. This is a process we recently hit up with ceramic DNA over on West Palm Beach. So shout out to them, They're always helping us apply coatings better, get coatings to last longer. And this is something we really wanted to start utilizing in our business. So yeah, wash mitt or towel, it's gonna be great. Wash down the boat, but you're not gonna get the same scrubbing power that Magic Eraser offers. So this is really the best way to go about the prep. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, we are using dish soap here in this bottle. And then we've just got a magic eraser. You can pick these up, Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot. And pretty much what we want to do, we just want to spray some soap either on the magic eraser, spray it on the surface. And you know, this is going to hold a lot of soap. It's really going to get really foamy. So that's a really good thing about the magic eraser. And then you're just going to do a couple scrubs. So for example, if we're working up here, you know, we just want to give it a good scrub like that couple passes and that's really gonna kill those oils out of the pores and working with DNA they've really stressed how important that is to getting your coating to have the best bond and really last and that really comes down to the durability so really important before you do the ceramic coating process that you're washing your boat you're getting these oils off of the surface so that you can have the best chance with your coating so that's really what we're focusing here with this part drying the boat so this is pretty standard but you want to make sure you dry all the colors first because those can water spot so do your colors do any of your whites after that and then we're gonna get this thing completely dried whether you have a chamois whether you got a dry lux towel you've got some sort of plush drying system wherever you got it's gonna work we got a couple of towels here because I'm running a little short on drying towels but we're gonna get this completely dried up and then we're gonna see you for the alcohol step the boat we're gonna want to do alcohol spray so what this is gonna do is this is gonna get rid of any maybe little water spots you had and it's gonna decontaminate the surface so we really want to make sure that we have a nice clean surface to put that coating on so we have a good bond so this is the next step everything you washed everything you dried has to get hit with isopropyl alcohol and you guys can either get that up from the company that you're working with or you guys can go to Walmart and they got isopropyl alcohol there you can get 91% 95% 99% one of those are going to be the best options I just picked up these spray bottles recently these are chemical guys you guys can actually head over to 1% detail these things are awesome have a great spray power really durable and they'll hold up to pretty much any chemicals so awesome stuff if you guys want to give it a shot for yourselves head over there check it out thing about 
about the alcohol is it's kind of like acetone, so it's going to pretty much evaporate after a couple of seconds. So that's what makes it the perfect prep for ceramic coating. You guys can also and probably should also be using this if you're going to be doing a ceramic wax, a polymer sealant. This is a great prep to get the best bond to whatever protection system that you're using now. But you guys aren't still using wax. This stuff's great. Again, I wouldn't really recommend acetone unless you're doing a bottom coating job. So if you're going to be doing clear coating or you're doing bottom painting, acetone, it's a little bit of overkill. You got to be really careful, especially if you're working on a painted boat. So if you don't know, definitely don't use that. Use alcohol. This is the best solution. Josh over here getting started on the ceramic coating. Three things that you guys gotta do before you start coating. Number one, you've gotta wash down the boat. You gotta strip it of the oils. Stay all down that bead. Number two, you gotta dry the boat. Number three, you've gotta do the alcohol prep. That's really important for eliminating any contaminants on the surface. Get us the best bond with the ceramic. But today we're gonna be using Ceramic DNA DNX coating. This is a professional grade product. So any detailing businesses watching the video today, if you are interested, awesome product reach out to ceramic dna they're based out of west palm beach they run an amazing company amazing service company over there and they can do the whole deal so they'll teach you how to prep a little bit like we were doing today how to restore surfaces things like that so get a ton of information from them bring it back to your detailing business now when it comes to picking a ceramic coating a few things that we really want to look at is how easy is it to apply the ceramic dna definitely wins there also we're really concerned about the durability so we want a coating that has the potential, again, like I said, has the potential to last two to three years down the road. Now, this is definitely one of those coatings that can do that for you. And that's really what we look at when it comes into ceramic coating. So we're trying to offer a really high service. This is our black pearl detail package. We've also got our 1% detail package. These are packages that we're using the best products that we have access to. And that's what ceramic DNA does an awesome job at. So we're gonna be getting started with this today. I'm gonna kind of explain a little bit how to use the product, how to apply it. And let's get started. Now, of course, today is the day we don't have the transfer bottle. So typically you're not gonna wanna apply this like this because you got a big opening right here. You know, we're gonna put a couple of dots on. We're really gonna prime the pad. Now, Josh has already done the first coat. So we're coming back and doing the second coat, which you can pretty much do immediately. But like I said, we're gonna get a good prime on here. Get this thing primed up. Get some of these corners filled up. All right, and we're gonna be good to go. So once you got a good prime, gotta make sure we put the cap back on. We're gonna get started here in this corner. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna box out this surface. So we're gonna come all the way down to about right there to this T. We're gonna come down. We wanna make sure we get this underneath lip right here. Gonna ride that all the way to the back. We're gonna come on up. Now we're just gonna fill in the shape. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to push this coating into the pores of the gel coat. You know, we don't want to be soft about it. A lot, a lot of guys just want to come out here, or girls, and they just want to kind of do that. But that's not really doing a whole lot for the coating. So we want to make sure we get a good bond. Let's really push this in. Fill in that shape. And we can even get a little bigger. So I've got quite a bit of coating here on this pad. So we're actually going to go over here to this M. So really work this in. Working in a little bit till it starts to kind of start curing on you. And this thing's actually, it's already forcing solvents out very quickly. It's very humid today. So it's already starting to activate. Coating's pretty fast dry time. So we're gonna wanna get our towels over here. And once you see the solvents pushing on, which is right now, we're good to wipe. So this is just an initial wipe. So we're just kind of taking off that coating, getting some of it off, all the main stuff, all the solvents. We really wanna make sure we get these edges good. So you don't wanna see edge lines when that coating dries. You don't wanna see that. So we wanna make sure we get that good. All right, so that's a good initial wipe. Let's get our second towel over here. Let's do a final wipe. Let's work this edge. All 
All right, so now we've got all that excess off. We've got this line taken care of. And you always wanna check your work. So whenever you're done, just check up and down. I see some coating here. Let's take this off. And we're gonna be pretty good to go. We're gonna continue down the boat. process you've got two coats of ceramic on the boat you might ask how do I maintain my boat moving forward well a couple tips guys you're gonna want to wash your boat at least once a month we've got a pH balanced soap right here this is ceramic DNA fresh like I said pH neutral not gonna damage your coating gonna be very light and gonna get your coating cleaned up very fast again ceramic coatings are gonna make cleaning easier so you're not gonna have to scrub a lot regardless but having a good soap is gonna help you maintain that coating now you're also going to want to have a ceramic booster or you're going to want to have an sio2 protection spray you're going to want to have something that can come in here and get extra protection on the boat fill in those pores any gaps in the coating and that's going to be dna regenex or like i said any other ceramic booster or sio2 protection spray out there on the market so those are going to be some tips and also along with the wash you'll want to do this at least once a month as well so those are the two tips I got for you guys for maintaining your coating moving forward. Definitely something you want to do. So if you're going to make this investment as a boat owner or if you're a detailing company, make sure you get your clients taken care of and make sure they know these things because these all come down to getting your coating to last longer and getting the durability out of it that you wish to achieve. That's going to be a wrap to the video. If you guys did find value out of this video, please leave a like. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and be sure to turn on bell notifications so that every time we release a video, you'll be notified. Guys, we are doing a free giveaway always every single month at 1percentdetail.com. Go ahead and check it out, like I said, every single month and find out what you can win. All you have to do is enter your name, your email, and your phone number, and you have a chance to win. Guys, I will see you on the next video.